A newborn child is assessed, they are found to be in the 25th centile of their weight, along with a systolic murmur heard best over the back. When feeling the femoral pulses, the doctor notices that there is a radial femoral delay. Which of the following may be causing this examination findings? So whenever there's a radial femoral delay, think of coarctation of the iota. And systolic murmur can also occur in coarctation. And it can hurt over the back as well. So which one of these are associated with coarctation of the iota? Hmm. Patent ductus arteriosus wouldn't cause a radio femoral delay. I think. Kleinfelter syndrome is not known to be associated with coordination, is it? Dodonal trees, yeah. Turner syndrome. Yes, Turner syndrome is associated with coarctation of the iota. Charge syndrome stands for something. A coena. A. Can't remember. Gotta study that later. Yeah, so the answer is Turner syndrome. Radio femoral delay is associated with coarctation of the iota. The question is asking about a neonate presenting of a systolic murmur, low birth weight, and radio femoral delay. These are all characteristic features of coarctation of the iota. Of the above conditions, only Turner syndrome has a strong association with coarctation of the iota. Charge syndrome is a genetic syndrome associated with some congenital heart defects. However, these are most commonly tetralogy of Feller or ventricular septal defects. Kleinfelter syndrome is a condition caused by 47XXY, an extra X chromosome, which characteristically presents in slim, tall males with infertility and lack of se secondary sexual characteristics. A patent ductus arteriosus is a common congenital heart defect that will not cause radiofemoral delay. The characteristically associated murmur is a venous hum, which is a continuous murmur. Duodenotresia is a congenital defect affecting the lumen of the duodenum and thus would not be a cause of radial femoral delay. Okay, I just want to study what is charge syndrome. Yeah, I guess rare diseases. That's quite good. Charge syndrome. Nord gratefully acknowledges these people. Synonyms of charge syndrome, charge association, Hall-Hitner syndrome, coloboma, or C stands for coloboma, H stands for heart, A stands for atresia of the coena, R stands for retardation of growth, and development G stands for genital and urinary abnormalities and E stands for ear abnormalities. General discussion, signs and symptoms. Okay, worth going through I guess. Causes, it's genetically related, affected populations, related disorders, diagnosis, standard therapies. Wow, it's a lot. Should we go through? Yeah, why not? So general discussion, charge syndrome is a rare disorder that arises during early fetal development and affects multiple organ systems. The charge acronym comes from the first letter of some of the more common features seen in these children. C stands for coloboma. Let's show what is coloboma. I think it's a hole in the iris or something. Coloboma, congenital abnormality of the membranes of the eye. So this is a coloboma, a typical coloboma. Um, usually retinal choroidal and cranial nerve defects. Uh, H stands for heart defects in 75 to 85%, especially tetralogy of Feller. A stands for atresia of the coena, which is block. Uh, nasal breathing passages. Uh, 
blocks. So this nasal passage, bone blocking nasal passage is coinal atresia. So there's coinal atresia, it's blocking. Coinal atresia. A. A stands for atresia of the coina. Uh, R stands for retardation of growth and development. G stands for genital underdevelopment due to hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism. E stands for ear abnormalities and sensory neural hearing loss more than 90%. Okay, I guess we don't really have to go to too much details, just know it's genetic and these few symptoms come together. Each of the letters in charge actually stands for each of the different features that they might present with. So, just to remember, C stands for coloboma which is a hole in the iris. H stands for heart, congenital heart defects, most commonly tetralogy of fella. A stands for atresia of the coena, which is blocking of the nasal passage by bone. Um, R stands for retardation of growth and development. G stands for genital urinary something. G stands for genital underdevelopment due to hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism. So it's something to do with the pituitary. And E stands for ear abnormalities and sensory neural hearing loss. Okay. That's all you need to know. No need to know so much details. Better medical student level.